What is up my ninjas, Dark Frog Ninja here for your weekly update. As you can see, these are my two new mints. They're doing well. I've had them for almost a month now. Next week is moving day on Wednesday, so there will be a video for that. I should be moving them into the biopod with Zed and Constantine. These two are doing great. Uh, they've picked up a lot of weight since I've had them. Uh, they eat like pigs. Today I'm going to try to get crickets again for them and see what happens. Uh, they're very lively, very active. Um, their glass is really dirty because they climb the glass a lot. Um, so that's from their uh, the skin, uh, their wet skin, that's why it's all dirty. But uh, other than that, they're doing great. As you can see, they have like little fear of me. It's going to be real fun trying to catch them. I probably will not film that part as I do not like uh, having my hands full with trying to film and trying to catch them because it is a stressful event for them and I want it to go as quickly and smoothly as possible without them getting hurt or them getting loose so uh, I probably won't film that but I will immediately film them in the biopod with Constantine Z. you will see the size difference between them um, I think they've gotten a slightly bigger since I've had them because I've been feeding them on the regular um, they're probably waiting for food today um, I'm going to try and get crickets and see uh, see if I can get them some crickets today. They they love crickets. Um, like I said, the previous uh, the guy I got them from, he only fed fruit flies, uh, different kinds of fruit flies to them. So they've been getting a uh, varied diet with me, and they've been eating a lot of different things. So it's been interesting. But uh, there they are. And today I believe it's vitamin A supplementation. So it's going to be good to give them that. And then, there they are. But, uh, yeah, they're doing good. Unfortunately, every now and then they do hit their heads. Uh, I have no idea what this one's about to do. Could very well jump up and bop her head, but she could be jumping up on the glass. But, uh, yeah, like I said, almost been 30 days with me, and they're doing well. They picked up weight. They're active. And, uh, we'll be moving them in next week. So, next... We have Zed, kind of chilling, and there's Constantine, also chilling. It'll be interesting to see how they do with the two new additions. Uh, I will have to monitor, make sure over the next few weeks there's no signs of aggression, no dominance. No fighting, because this is Zed and Constantine's home, and if there's any issues with the new newbies, I will be removing the newbies, and I will be having to set up this 10-gallon tank as some kind of temporary setup until I can figure out what I want to do with them. But I don't think there should be any issues. Um, Terribles don't really uh, show signs of aggression in their communal frog. They live in large groups. In the wild, they live in um, large groups of up to... Uh, 10 to 20 individuals um, and then as far as mating goes they do they're all kind of polyamorous so they do like having multiple mates um, so that's why I believe that's why I believe that uh, introducing these two probable females are going to help with my breeding because as uh, before I had three females and one or I had two females and Constantine here and they did breed a couple of times. Unfortunately, the eggs were bad, and uh, I wasn't supplementing vitamin A, um, so that would be uh, that was my bad on that. But uh, since uh, unfortunately the other one passed away, there's been no real egg laying. But uh, that's okay, because that'll change hopefully within the next few months. Um, some people say they breed better during the winter months. Maybe we'll see. Um, so maybe I won't get anything till this fall. Now they did breed in the fall last time, uh, I believe a year ago, they laid eggs in the fall, and unfortunately, like I said, they went bad, so, there you go, that's Zed and Constantine, no, no change, oh, one thing I do want to point out, is if you can see that, this moss, uh, moss is the, uh, 
Java moss that I bought and I placed in here and it is growing. It's covering the log. I think that's really cool. It's really neat. Um, so if anybody's ever wondering if Java moss does work on logs and your doesn't have to stay submerged, there you go. Sorry about that. And then also I love this peperomias growing right here. Look how cool that is. Sorry, I'm about to zoom on that. That's pretty neat. It's a really interesting plant, and then like I said, it is popping out. If you can see that, it is popping out right in the center of your screen. So, but it's going to be cricket day today. They're going to eat, and uh, that's it. So everybody's doing good. We'll see. No word on the biopod yet. Hopefully, uh, I'll contact them this week, and we'll see what's up. All right, guys. This is Dark Frog Ninja. Saying, frog on.